Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom Emacs abutment on a 6mm Glidewell tie base. Now in this image you see here, this is actually what I originally did. I just did a full contour screw retain restoration on the Glidewell tie base. If I go ahead and turn my restoration transparent, you can see where the 6mm Glidewell tie base is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if, for instance, you had a reason why you did not want to do a screw retain restoration, uh, we don't obviously have the Emacs Mesio abutment blocks yet, but if you wanted to make an Emacs custom abutment uh, on a 6mm Glidewell tie base, I will show you uh, another way to do this. Uh, there's previous videos where I show you how to make this uh, via the telescoping function. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, via the reduction um, function. So you can see here that um, I have a, a screw axis hole made. It was made by the reduction tool. So if I want to get rid of this, I simply have to right click, bring up my tool wheel, re-click on reduce. It's going to say the restoration is already reduced. Do you want to revert back to the unreduced state? Uh, all changes will be lost. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit yes to this. Okay, so now I'm back to my original restoration. I did this uh, with the gingiva mask, so if I want to go ahead and turn on my gingiva, you can get an idea of where uh, the emergence profile is, etc. If I want to turn it over and I turn off the upper jaw, then you can get an idea. Um, you can actually make the emergence profile uh, a little bit less or a little bit more concave there if you want. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is if I want to go ahead We'll go ahead and turn this back on, and I'll turn the gingiva off. If I want to go ahead and make a custom Emacs abutment, what I'm going to first do is we're going to obviously finish the restoration design, which it is, and then we're going to go ahead, right click, hit reduce. Okay, so right now, uh, if you have the reduction, it automatically defaults to reduce full. So if you want to reduce it full, which you, you do not, by the way, but if you did, you simply have to bring it to the reduction strength without doing anything, and you can reduce it. Okay, you can see as we reduce it, you can see the transparent crown uh, in the background, and then you can see the reduction coping uh, that's actually in the middle. But we don't want to do that. What we want to do is a partial reduction because we want to draw our custom line uh, where we want this uh, reduction to take place in relation to the actual gingiva. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and take my display options. Let's go ahead and turn the upper jaw off. Let's turn the upper gingiva on. We'll flip the crown upside down and then we get a, an idea of where the gingiva is at we can actually turn it a little transparent if we would like as well. Okay, So we're not going to spend a lot of time with the initial line, but you can see even though it defaults to reduce full, if I put the, the cursor over the top of the restoration, you have the crosshairs. Now we can double click, and we're just going to initially draw a margin around the inside surface of the restoration here. Okay. So you can see everything that's going to be reduced is going to be in orange. I just drew that to give myself a start. We're going to go back and we're going to redraw the line. Since we're doing Emacs, uh, it's going to actually blend in pretty darn nicely to uh, uh, the restoration because you can use different shades. So we're going to get this pretty close to right at the gingiva. Okay, so we'll just go around the restoration. Okay, pretty close. We can actually look at it from the top as well. And the nice thing about having this gingiva transparent is you can use your, uh, you can draw directly through it. So even though you can see here all that, I can actually draw the line right through and get a very nice custom line right at the surface of the gingiva. Okay. So once we have that line, now if I go back to the toggle, it's going to reduce partial because I drew the line, and we're just going to go ahead and reduce it. Not a ton, just somewhere. I don't want to reduce it all the way like this. It's, not, it's going to give myself a really uh, super sharp area if I do that in the back, so we're not going to reduce it a ton. We'll bring it back. We just want to reduce it about like that. 
Okay, once you get the reduction, we're going to go ahead, we'll take our circular or circular shape tool and this is start shaping it down. Okay, we're still a little sharp obviously, we want to reduce it back here. We're going to want to get it in the front here to get rid of these undercuts and then we'll take our smooth tool and just start smoothing it out. Now this is something that you're obviously going to have to reprep and so I'm not going to really go nuts on, on making it perfect because I'm going to have to, not excuse me, not reprep, you're going to have to re-image. So because it's an Emacs, it'll be in the blue state, it's going to be very easy to, to reprep an edge like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the gingiva off so we can take a look. It looks like I got the form tool a little bit into that margin, but so you might want to redefine the margin slightly with um, with a burr when you after you mill this. Now this would be something that I would do for like an Astra 3.0 where there's no zirconia option. Uh, you can make a telescope, but this has found to be a bit easier for me to do it this way uh, because I, I don't have to uh, telescope it and then try to make a restoration over the top. I'm designing the restoration first and then just reducing it into a custom abutment. I've got the same emergence profile that I originally created you know, you can actually check that with your gingiva again. Uh, the same emergence profile that I originally created with that full contour crown, you just mill that out in an Emacs abutment, you bond that to the titanium base, you go ahead and refine the Emacs abutment as needed, sharpen the edges, uh, make sure you're not going to have any over milling, so you're going to definitely want to uh, make this a little flatter up here, and then you go ahead and re-image and make your final Emacs crown over the top. So hopefully that helps give you a strategy on how to make a custom Emacs abutment over the top of a Glidewell 6mm titanium base.